race with RJ and really throw down. Do you, do you know his, his PB? I don't, but I do think Salted Bread can get a 500k uh, on a good game. Mm, okay. And we saw, uh, we looked it up earlier, Fleetato's PB was, I think, eight or 900? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, although I don't know, much like me, my PB is also around that same level, eight or 900, but I am not capable of doing that on a regular day. So yeah. um, we'll see how the play uh, ends up today. Yeah, yeah, I am i don't know how good I'm gonna play on console today either, so we'll have to see. It could be really good, it could be terrible. What is your PB? We. Uh, I have two console maxes. Have you have you gotten a 1.1 on console? I was I almost got it in a match. I had an insanely good pace against uh, Super Shocky in the last Xeno Tetris, but I topped out early oh, with like 850k into 25. Mm. Yeah, I, I remember seeing you at the, the 2022 um, CTWC. Also uh, working real hard to uh, increase your PB live. You are getting. Some really unfortunate piece sets. Yeah, I had a rough qualifier, but I mean, I Das is not my main playing style, and neither his console. And I have to focus on playing console more in order I for see. me to really, because I'm your keyboard. With, that's way how you... better at keyboard. Yeah. Mm. I I I also prefer, um, or I am better at keyboard. I actually prefer playing on the NES. It's a little bit more fun for me, but I just wish the controller was a little. Yeah, you know, it's a it's a whole different mindset there. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so we're getting we have started. a Got dirty even Tetris match. possibility and getting it uh, by salted bread there. Yeah. Um, uh, salted bread. Yep. With this column nine, uh, column eight Tetris uh, is an interesting setup though. Um, Very is he gonna popular. Clean? Oh no, he's. Wow. Nice job by salted bread. Yeah. Um, For a modern Tetris player, they call this the 8-2 uh, setup. Instead of, you know, in classic Tetris, we like to say, oh, it's a column uh, 8 center well. Mm. But what they do, or 7-2 setup, rather, what they like to do is count how many blocks are occupied on each side. So you got right. 7 on the left, 2 on the right. So they call that a 7-2 stack. Gotcha. Reminds and, me of bowling or something. <laughs> seven, yeah, <laughs> two like split a 7-2 yeah. split, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, in modern Tetris, the 7-2 stack is very popular, very comfortable for modern Tetris players. I mean, players. if you have an extra piece that you can swap out, that certainly makes yeah. that kind of setup more possible. Yeah, um, you can oh, see wow, there's this... some struggles here for yeah. salted bread. Oh, no, a little too far to the right there. I don't know if... Oh, he gets it over. Oh, Full wow. Full-ass charge right there. Oh, good piece. That's exactly what he needed there, and not... Oh, the rotation. <sighs> oh... Oh, yeah. That's unlucky because I I knew exactly. Although wait what wait the game there, is not over yet. We have a chase down, down, down here for um, fleet. Ten thousand points behind. Yeah. Um, definitely capable of it. This Tetris will do, do it. it. So, GGs. Nice job. Yeah. I, I, I saw that rotation with the, the J piece, and that was because he's still trying to get used to the ro different rotations, which I totally get. Um, it are you with talking about because the rotation? What, what was he trying to do, and what did he achieve? He was trying to flip the L in there, but he pressed the wrong button because the L spawns, the J spawns upside down in modern. Oh, yeah, that's a whole other aspect of um, modern Tetris with yeah. how it spawns. My intuition is definitely messed up big time when I try to play those. I had forgotten about that. Um, I've it's, it's to the point where when I play no. modern, I use an entirely different keyboard layout for when I play classic. Oh, like, so um, your muscle memory is totally different? That Slightly different. Different enough where it's less likely for me to instinctually do a classic Tetris rotation. That's so. smart. Very smart. I still make the mistake, though, when I'm panicking. So mm. it's not perfect, yeah. but it works pretty well. But yeah, like, there are so many growing pains with learning modern Tetris. And oh, I mean, it's the... just so, yeah. Uh... Tato got the nice tuck there to keep things clean. Yeah, Saltabra was considering going for the well transfer dirty Tetris. And Saltabra is going to build up this center well. And we got a Tetris uh, for Fleet Tato mm -hmm. and a dirty Tetris possibility. And there it is for Boom. Salted. And Salted Bread. Very close scores early on in the game here. Looks like Salted Bread's holding out for the TPs to burn. And there we go. Salted Bread back to the right well. Both players clean. Salted Bread, unfortunately, missing that Tetris readiness opportunity and takes the triple. 
Luckily, Tato, meanwhile, has a long water penancy and and fixes it immediately. Yeah, very, very clean. Um, both players making very smart decisions here on the placements. Yeah, for sure. Tetris for Salted Bread and Tetris for Fleet. Solid plays. Oh, on both sides. <laughs> oh that was very fast. Push down points there by <laughs> Fleetano. I That almost looked not intentional. I, I bet you that was intentional, but that almost freaked me out. It looked like we were playing on uh, 19 for a second there. Yeah, that more, was, more, more. Yeah. That was a more, more, more moment right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. More, more, more. <laughs> that brings me back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. But come on, it's the Stew Crew. We gotta it's true, bring, it's we true. Gotta use yeah. The more, Lord more, more. never dies. Oh, man. Yeah, that's where's... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll bring up r and Jesus again at some point. Oh, <laughs> yes. Or the archaeological dig. Exactly, yeah. we Hopefully we won't have any of those types of digs here because that would be bad for both of these players. But, um, yeah, time will tell. Yeah, Fletato gets a JP to resolve the dependency. They are Tetris ready. satisfying dependency solved there. And nice. Tetris for Fleet. Uh, Salted Bread. So we got a very close game. Actually, uh, Salted Bread has the pace lead by two burns here. Oh, look at this cleanup. Nice. I feel like... The square yeah. is going to work perfectly. The square is going to work And look at that T. Just like... Look, beautiful board. Beautiful, beautiful. board. Beautiful. Well done, Fleet Tato right there. Salted Bread with the long bar dependency. Nice. Oh, covers it Good. up, though. But that's a very smart placement because now when Salted Bread burns it out, that's it's true. now an LJ dependency. That's true, yeah. That's a good point. And now Salted Bread is back to the clean board as well. So Fleet Tato and Salted Bread with a very neck-and-neck -neck game. We are only separated by 300 points for a Salted second. Salted taking the triple there. He had an interesting... Um, uh, like block that he had to clean up on the left and he yeah. decided to take the triple instead of playing dangerously. Yeah, potato um, with That the tuck, the nice tuck. Yeah, nice. Tetris for Fleet Tato, 183,000. Salted bread. Salty cup, salted bread. Um... Ooh. Oh, does not make the intended skim there, but if you he get if you fine. get a J piece um, uh, or that piece, then it cleans up just fine. Looks like Salted Bread might be going for this left well here. Probably a smart move to stick it out just uh, for the moment. Yeah, it I pays off. Yeah. Tetris for Salted Bread on the left oh, well. Oh, covers it up there. Yeah. But definitely not not the end of the world. Yeah. And we got a nice Tetris for Flutato and mm. another. And now we got a 40,000 point lead by Fleetato. We've been neck and neck for a while. Yeah. But uh, Fleetato just, you know, really chucking down those Tetrises. That was three in a row there. Yeah, um, Fleetato opening up a big lead here. But Salted Bread is behind in line, so it's not a massive lead. Only around a one Tetris lead right now. Mm hmm. So Salted Bread still has a great chance to uh, make this comeback and potentially force a decider. Yeah, it'd be... This is definitely one of the most evenly matched games we've had so far. Yeah. And um, uh, I'd love to see a decider, for sure. Yeah. All right, Salted Bread might go for this call, this uh, well transfer Tetris. Ooh, but that square piece is not oh, going to help. If you... If, no... Okay. Oh, in interesting nice maneuver there. Oh, look at that beautiful, beautiful clean. Beautiful triple. Yeah. Um, so 97 lines, three lines until the level 13 yeah. transition. The speed, we'll see how that speed changes uh, the tactics Ooh. by these players. Um, Fletato cleaning it up pretty nicely. Oh, Takes the safe burn yes. there. Okay, Very so Fletato might be a little less comfortable playing on these speeds and wants to play it safe. Yeah. Topping out after especially having such a great game, topping out early would not be yeah. a great feeling. All so. right, Salted Bread transitions to level 13, 50,000 points behind. So that's three Tetrises. Okay, nice. Oh, Salted oh. Bread passed up on the Tetris. Oh, yes. But, but gets the line bar, the... <laughs> There we, go. there we go. Tetris okay. for Salted Bread, but Tetris some, for Fleet. He has some strange priorities. Yeah. Uh, Salted Bread burns the triple now. Oh, Fleetato with the under the underhang there can 
Can tuck a J piece or yeah. burn it down? Nice. Oh, just not getting the. There's the piece there's that the was needed. Oh, Ooh. okay. Right. Keeping it clean. Just uh, it's all. Sweet it's just all has good. To take the triple. This is Salted Bread's opportunity to make this comeback if oh, no. he can find the tuck solves here. No, he does not spin the the Z piece properly. Oh, and Salted Bread gets the S spin in there and actually is able to burn this down yeah, fairly nice efficiently. Burning, uh, by. All right, level 16 there. now for Fleet. Yeah, the speeds are definitely getting faster. Um, but Fleet's in a comfortable position. That square is helping, very much so. And then we got a line. Okay, we're super, uh, it's gonna be clean in two seconds flat yeah. here, hopefully, if we get the right pieces. Salt and Bread does have the opportunity to catch up here. The points oh. are worth more. And now Salt and Bread actually has a clean right well, as long but as they get the But we're almost at bar. the transition uh, to 130 yeah. lines here. Um, Sal Salted has a lot more runway than Fleet. If Salted can get these Tetrises on the level 16 to 18 speed, he can potentially take this game. Yeah. Oh, I guess that when you start at that level, 130 doesn't really change the speed, does it? Right, here we go, level 16. So, oh, we got an early. Ooh, a little indecision, shift, but actually um, is like able Fleet's. to stay pretty. Oh, Fleet. Yeah, it fixes it very, very yeah. quickly there. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Right. Nice job by Fleet, keeping that um, that miss that that bad decision, fixing it very quickly. Yeah, Fleet's um, got a clean board for the 19 transition, and Tetris for Salted Bread, nearly 400,000 points here. Salted Bread ready for a Tetris again, and a Tetris for Salted Bread. Salted Bread one Tetris away from the lead. Fleet transitions into 19 with 424,000. Yeah. This is this game is getting real interesting. This is intense. Yeah, Salted We're, Bread Tetris. Four thousand point difference right now. Uh, this is definitely the most neck and neck and the longest the game has gone on. We haven't had a real ninth. Oh my gosh, Salted oh. Bread could have taken the lead here. Salted Bread takes the lead. Oh, the Tetris set up right there and gets the long oh, bar. Fleet gets the level twenty Tetris. Very nice. And oh. Oh, some one, one, drops. One, he's getting <gasps> droughted. Oh. He's getting droughted. No. He's getting <laughs> droughted. Oh, Fleet might Salted. not be able to get it if Oh, Fleet just needs to hold on. Oh. The drought. Fleet knows the oh. drought is here because is aware of it on the other side. Because we have the game. same pieces. And Salted and Bread salted. is eliminated. Oh, wow. But what a fantastic match and a great score from Salted Bread. Fantastic showing. Yeah, that was that was a phenomenal match. You can phenomenal. see it on these players' faces. They're they're both they both had the time of their lives playing that. Um, all smiles. Yeah. Kudos to Salted Bread for the massive improvement in classic Tetris play. Can't wait to see the continuation of his journey with classic Tetris for sure. Yeah. Uh, we're definitely gonna have to have a um, Tutorial. Maybe we'll set. We should definitely get him set up on the um, Quick Tap Trainer. Yeah.